How's it going guys? There's been a few leaks floating around the Forza Horizon 5 world lately and a lot of them are hinting towards body kits. Are we getting a body work or body kit focused update in the future or just an update that's got a few body kits in? We'll be talking about all that today from the leaks that have been found and also there's been some back to the future references found and donut media so we'll talk about all that now. Really quick though, here are the five winners from the most recent car pack giveaway, Chinese Lucky Stars. If these winners don't reply, which already a few of them haven't, I will pick someone else. So make sure to stay subscribed and comment your gamertag and you'll always be in with a chance. So there's quite a few leaks to talk about today. We'll focus on this one first. I found this coming soon icon named Body Kit. I don't think it's been used before, but correct me if I'm wrong. Now the coming soon icons are these icons here that are on the splash the splash screens for the next update, European Automotive is next, and obviously a body kit icon has been found. I also can't recall if this has been used before. If it has, then we'll scrap this, but if it hasn't, this is just the first piece of clue that could be telling us about a potential body kit update coming soon. So, so keep this body kit icon in mind for later on when we talk about the next body kit leak. Another thing was found as well, and it is a golden ratio photo mode overlay. Now, I'm not into photography. I had to do a bit of research into what this is. Now, the golden ratio overlay, it's an overlay that, photog that photographers can use to make their photos better in certain circumstances. Again, I'm not an expert on it. If I'm having to explain to you what the golden ratio overlay does, and I can't imagine you're the type of person to use it anyway. So if you know what the golden ratio is and you're into your photo, your, your photo mode photography, this may come to the game at some point. It's been found in the files at least. That doesn't mean it's gonna come, but we have got evidence of it. So you never know, maybe a new photo mode update's coming in the future as well. Now, keeping on the topic of body kits, there's a second leak that talks all about body kits. In fact, there's another three, I think, sorry. This is the next one. Now, this is a leak that was actually found over on the Forza Motorsport files. And the reason we're talking about it is because it has happened in the past where things have been leaked into the Forza Motorsport files and then actually come to Forza Horizon 5 instead. They are linked in some kind of way. So we're gonna talk about it as it is entirely possible. Ignoring the top two things, the IndyCar and the DMC Carbon, we're not gonna talk about them. It is more specifically the four text strings at the bottom that are all talking about body work, sort of manufacturer brands, body kit brands. We have Future Design Carbon. These do carbon accessories such as a front splitter, side skirts, you know, what a body kit is. We've got Carbell Carbon. They are basically the same thing as the previous one, another brand that do aftermarket bodywork parts, rear diffusers, front splitters, everything you can imagine. We have Artwork Body Shop. Again, exactly the same thing. They do exactly the same thing. The, the weird one is the bottom one, Back to the Future. Now, all he's found is a text string talking about Back to the Future, nothing else. No images, no cars, nothing just yet. But it is interesting to see just the words Back to the Future referenced in a text string in the files. Now, does this mean we'll get a car from Back to the Future, a body kit? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see on that. We're gonna focus more on the body kit side today, but a Back to the Future reference has been found. In fact, if we have a look at what was said above that, the fact that the DMC Carbon logo was found, DMC Carbon, again, another body shop that do other aftermarket parts. So there's a lot of body kit or sort of aftermarket accessory brands being found in the files lately, a lot of them. And if we pair that up with the fact that we found an icon named body kit as well, maybe we're getting a, an update in the future that has just a ton of body kits added. There's another piece of evidence to add to this as well. You may remember a couple of videos ago, we spoke about how two of the new cars that have come to the game actually have prior design body kits in the files that aren't being used in the game. You can't use them, you can't apply them, but they are present in the files. Well, I don't condone modding or cheating or anything like that. But if you are interested to see what these look like, someone has managed to get them onto their car into the game for the Hyundai Kona N. In 2022 the prior design body kit is there go and have a look if you're interested in seeing but if this is another piece of evidence maybe these prior design body kits are being held off for a potential body kit update so what evidence have we got so far we have the fact that there are prior design body kits in the game for cars that are in the game that are not accessible yet we have the coming soon bodywork icon that's been found and all of the most recent text strings as well all talking about the same topic body kits. So 
Are we getting a body kit update in the future? Maybe we are. Let me know what you think in the conversation below. The next thing, there's been more things found. This was actually a few weeks ago. Again, I'm only just getting around to talking about it. A few other images and sort of JPEGs found in the files. We've got Turista. Bienvindo a Mexico. Um, I can't really recall where this has been used. Free Wi-Fi and 46 air conditioning stickers for the traffic bus. Can't find them stickers in game. And the interesting one is the Donut Media 350Z low car interior door card. Now in game it's black whereas obviously there has been at some point consideration of using these images as door cards for the 350z in game for the donut media which is really interesting now now the fact that this isn't on the car in game it probably doesn't mean it's ever going to come but it does bring us to the topic of donut media it's kind of been forgotten about we had donut media part one we have donut media part two and i still believe donut media part three is going to come if you remember we had the evidence of this whereas one the donut media guys themselves told us that we're going to be able to drive all their cars in game so far we don't have all their cars in the game and then at the end of the most recent donut media part two story they said this hey james you know the baja thousand is coming up right we do have those trucks you know what i'm thinking that was it it cut off there now this it can only really mean one thing, really, that a part three donut media is coming for the Baja 1000 in their trucks. Now, it's entirely possible. The chances of a donut media part three coming, I would say, is fairly high. It adds up completely. It will probably be a good update. I mean, the donut media updates have been a bit questionable so far to some people. At the end of the day, it's probably a bit more exciting than some of the worst updates we've had. Donut Media Part 3 is not the only update that we're probably getting at some point. If you've been keeping track of all the leaks we talk about on this channel, there are a lot of leaked updates that we still haven't seen yet. We have the Drag Racing update, which I think by now has probably been scrapped. It's been so long since we first spoke about that. And then we have the Eliminator. The Eliminator had a Duos game mode leaked. There were all sorts of features and new cars within the this that were found this I think this was almost two years ago now so that's probably scrapped as well it doesn't seem to be behind playground games to literally cancel updates or move them or just change them tweak them I definitely think the drag racing update was supposed to be the update where the anti-lag came out and the launch control came out that makes complete sense but that we didn't get it so that tells me there's a possibility that we won't get donut media part three I'm not really that bothered anyway. The first two updates were really not for me. But either way, body kits may be coming. The next update is European Automotive. I will have a video talking about what cars could come in European Automotive in the next couple of days. Maybe the update after that is the one where the body kit icon is going to be used. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Everyone subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later.